Hi guys. Um, I realized when I um, watched the video this morning that I left out a little bit about uh, margins and padding that I wanted to um, to talk about briefly, uh, and that's just how you add margins and padding to CSS. Now um, I'm going to use the main top banner here to kind of explain um, how both margins and padding work, and then I'll show you an example in the rest of the browser. So for both margins and padding, you can actually change them uh, on any of the one four sides separately or all at once or only two. So I can change the top and the bottom or the top and the right or the top, the right and the left or all four if I want to. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is like let's say I just want to change padding on the top here. Uh, what I do is I type padding dash top and then uh, the pixel number so like 30 pixels. I could also do percentage but I'm just going to do 30 pixels and save it and you'll see that it adds padding over the top. Now uh, another thing I can do is I can say okay well I'll add padding to the right. Padding right uh, 30 pixels or I could make it like 70 pixels if I wanted to and save it and you'll see that now there's some padding that was added on the right side uh, and then I can do padding bottom to add um, padding to underneath and let's say that'll be 5 pixels it should move a little bit, there you go and then padding left and we'll make that uh, 25 pixels and save it and there they move back to the right so um, if you just want to add to one side or two sides or even all four sides you can type it out like this padding top padding right padding bottom padding left it also is the same for uh, margins so I'm going to paste in the margin that I typed earlier and you see margin top margin right margin bottom oops and margin left and if I save that you'll see rather than moving the text around on the inside it's going to change the border around the outside by 30 pixels so there you go now there's a uh, there's more space between the top banner element uh, div element and uh, the stuff around it so that's what the margin does as I explained earlier the difference between the margin and the uh, padding is margins separate elements and padding kind of separates content within an element right so um, so that's how you can, if you just want to like specify all four of these, then you would type those out. But another way you can do this is by just saying padding. Now if you, let me first comment this out so that it's not affecting anything. Let's see, edit, comment, uncomment, and we'll block, on, block comment that. So uh, let me get rid of this for a second and you'll see if I save it, all of the padding disappears, right? The text goes back to where it belongs. If I want to add 30 pixels of padding all the way around, I don't have to type out all four of those. I can just type padding and 30 pixels and um, save it and it'll add 30 pixels on every side, right? Convenient. Um, now let's say that I want to add 30 pixels to the top and the bottom and um, you know 10 pixels or, or 50 pixels to the right and the left then I would write type 30 px and then 50 px the third the first number is going to affect the top and the bottom and the second number the right and the left and you can't really see the difference so let me try adding 150 oh right <laughs> if I'm adding uh, padding to the right and the left it actually won't go anywhere so you'll just have to take my word for it um, it's easier to see on margins so let's do that there so margin um, we'll do 30 pixels and 150 pixels and you should see that it increased a lot on the left and the right and it stayed the same on the top and the bottom and if I change that to 50 the top and the bottom will get bigger there you go. You have a slightly bigger margin on the top and the bottom. So if I wanted to do like the top, the bottom, uh, the top and the bottom were different, 
uh, but the left and the right were the same. I could say, oh, 50 pixels, 150 pixels, and then 10 pixels. Then save it. And you see, this one is shorter now. The bottom is shorter. That's 10 pixels. So top 50, left and right 150, bottom 10. And if I do all four, I'll do 10 pixels, oh, actually 20 pixels. Uh, what this number is, is it's the top, this number is the right, this number is the bottom, and the 20 is the left. So if you, I save that, you'll see. That's the way it always works. It's kind of like a, a clock going around clockwise. This is top, the first number is always going to be top, then right, then bottom, then left. So it starts at noon, and it goes all the way uh, around. So um, that can be that can be handy if you want to specify four different numbers for your margin um, or for your uh, padding. You know, let's say I want to. Oops. I want my left and my right padding to be different. Um, then I could just paste that in there. I'll get rid of the margin. And you can see now the, the text is a little bit more to the left. And if I were to change that to 80, it's going to move a bit to the right as more padding gets added on the left side. Um, so here's an example. What I did was I got rid of all of the margins um, around this uh, vertical picture, this picture here. I call it vert pick. Um, there's no margins, and as you can see, the text is right up on that picture, uh, which, you know, isn't the best. So uh, I, what I can do is I can type margin uh, 20 pixels, and that's going to add 20 pixels all the way around. But um, the problem for me is, oops, I forgot to add a semicolon. The problem for me is that it adds a little bit too much space on the bottom. I don't like how um, offset this text is, uh, even though I like the way it looks over here. So that's why uh, I specified a margin left and a margin right. I don't want margins on the top or the bottom. So um, I can uncomment it and save it. And now um, there's not a huge space on the, the bottom and there's no space on the top. It's just this nice left and right uh, border. If I wanted the picture to line up right on the edge, I could just do margin left. Or sorry, I could just do margin right. Um, I keep the margin on the right side of the picture, and I get rid of the margin on the left side of the picture. Hit save, and now it's moved over so that it's even, but I still have that nice space between the picture and the text. Um, but let's say I do want to keep that 20 pixel uh, margin on each side of the picture, um, and but I don't want to type out margin right, margin left. I could just do margin and type 0 pixels because I don't want to change the top or the bottom. And then 20 pixels, I keep that for the right and the left. And there you go. It's back again. That's great. That's exactly what I want. So um, it's going to take some experimentation and probably some memorization to remember, like, OK, which number is which. Or maybe it's just easier for you for now to do, like, margin top, margin bottom, margin left, margin right. And it's especially going to take a while for you to figure out, like, OK, do I want to add margin? Do I want to add padding? Just experiment with it. Remember that you can always wipe out whatever change you make. It's really easy. Um, but this will definitely help you uh, with layout. Like, if I didn't have the margin, this would be much harder to read, uh, and it looks I think it looks better that way. So anyway, there you go. Um, thanks for watching the extended mix.